Hello and welcome to Cinetracer version 0.51. This is a small incremental update that I would like to continue to do uh, moving forward. So right now we have a couple new things that you'll see in the prefabs. Uh, we'll bring out this subway, another subway, this little restaurant, and this dining table prefab. So we'll start with the restaurant here. If you hit 3, you're going to get this little prefab that I'm kind of suggesting looks like a restaurant. And it shows off a new asset that we have that is the curtain. And the curtain is in the residential set down here. And so you can delete these off and then easily add them back like this. And you'll see that they snap together with the block system for the residential set anyway. And maybe this gets someone started on their way to making a house. And uh, that would be great. Moving on, we have some new subway stuff. So we're going to hit one now and bring this out. And this will show you how to assemble a subway using the new subway pieces. Or you can just literally use this one. You can find all this stuff in the commercial tab now. This is made up of the subway floor, the track, uh, these new walls, the column. And we can grab actually the stairs now and the train. And if you want to add a train to this, you can hit 4. And it will pretty much snap in there correctly. Uh, currently, this train version is uh, third party and the doors don't actually open anymore. Uh, we can make that possible in the future, but it will make a pretty good train stand in for uh, this train set here. If you want to continue building out your train tracks, if you run under here and you hit one again, you'll bring out another one of these trains and then you can hit that. So we can keep linking these together. I'll do one more down here. Hit one, back up and it perfectly snaps together. I'm going to hit Y and I can kind of jump up through here. And now we have a pretty long train track all pre-assembled with our train in it. You can keep adding trains if you want. And I'll show you the last prefab down here. We're going to hit uh, 2 and you'll see that it's already trying to snap it into place and we're just going to back up a little bit here over and now we have essentially the end of the train station. That's kind of what this was modeled after. And we have a little room back here, like this, doesn't really go anywhere. And uh, this is a new staircase that still needs a little bit of work, but uh, we released it just so people could try it out. And we have it doubling back on itself. And again, you can really easily make your own version of this or start from this and start extending it. Um, another note to remember is that the commercial and urban stuff snap together really well where the residential stuff um, has its own height, essentially. This is 300 tall, these are 400. So you kind of want to stick with them together. But for instance, if you wanted to fill in this hole that gets made like right here, you could hit Y. I'm going to go down under here. I'm going to come back out and I'm going to hit 1. You'll see that this wall snaps perfectly into that. And you can fly back up here, Y again, and we have capped that hole. So that is most of the content update here. We also fixed something with the rain that was kind of buggy and we're slowly fixing uh, little bugs that are happening from this last big release with 0 0.5. One thing that's really important to check out is a new setting here in settings and it's a different size. We're going to eventually update this menu quite a bit, but we actually have resolution scale now. And what's basically happening is when, when I'm in windowed full screen, we're actually playing at full resolution, even though it says that. This resolution thing only really works if you're in windowed or full screen, which you may have noticed. Um, so that should be changing. But if you want to control um, the performance of the game and the quality of it in a much more global way than we've allowed before, you can change the resolution scale. So if you go to Epic with this, you're going to be playing at full res. Um which is actually not this resolution. This is the screen resolution. Um, this is the resolution scale for the game. So if you want a slightly better performance, but a slightly blurrier image, you can start to crank these down. And this will do a significant amount. I even play in high because I'm actually recording in 4K right now. So it's, it's pretty heavy on any computer to do that. So I play in high here and it does a big difference. So if you're on a lower end computer, definitely try going to medium. Low is really low, but uh, we can go back into uh, medium and see if we can tell the difference here it's a little bit blurrier it's it's not even that bad and i didn't save so everything's gone but that's the quick update for version 0 0.51 i'm trying to do more frequent updates for content little bug fixes etc and uh i'll see you guys on the next video